Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing the perfect subscriber tag. Now this was created by Katie Marie. She's one of my favorite people to watch on YouTube because she really does amazing makeup. She has some really cool interesting videos and she posts quite often and she created the perfect subscriber tag. Are content creators good subscribers? That's the entire concept of this tag and I saw the questions and I was instantly hooked. So I decided to do my own, I guess like my own rendition of this tag. I can't even speak, but I basically am going to be doing my um, answers for this tag. Let's just get into it because clearly I, um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not very good at this. The first question is, do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel slash video or try a few videos first? Now, I am a Libra and I'm not like too into horoscopes, but I like to say that because I'm a Libra, I'm very indecisive. I take my decisions very seriously. And when I make a decision, it's a decision. So I apply that same um, concept into my YouTube time. Uh, for me, I have like so many people that I'm constantly hooked by, but as a result, I've noticed that because I really do like watching like different people and I find myself drawn to different people and different genres, I have a very cluttered subscription feed, more than I'd like. So I have to constantly go back and unsubscribe to people that I don't really watch that often, um, that don't really post that often. And I know that that's a little bit ranty, but my point is when I find a new person, if I like their video, I go on their channel and I check to see how often do they post. If they post like once a week and it's an amazing, smash fabulous, fantastic video, I'm gonna subscribe. If they post like once a month, I'm not gonna subscribe. And I do like to watch several videos. I like to see what makes people tick and I like to see if their style is something that I find appealing or if their like content is something that I can get value from. So that's like basically my criteria. So I do like to watch like a few videos from content creators. I don't like to just uh, subscribe after the first video. If I watch you and if I subscribe to your channel, then you know that I really do like watching a lot of your videos. Then the next thing is, does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? Yes and no. I think that, um, I say it myself a lot, um, because I have, like, heard that apparently if you say it, um, like, at the beginning of your video or at the end of the video, it, like, does help with, uh, numbers and it does help, uh, make sure that people, like, are reminded to subscribe to your channel. I do find it annoying, though, when people, like, keep saying it all the time. And it's like their thing, like in the intro, like in the first 10 seconds of every single video, they say, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, all of that. Like if you're introducing yourself, that's fine, but you don't need to do that for every single video. That's just kind of like my opinion. You can do it at the end of a video because if someone has watched till the end, that means they probably really do like you already and that means they will subscribe. I don't like to see it in every single video unless I really like the person. So that's just my opinion on that whole entire thing. The third question is, how many channels do you have the notification bell turned on for? Not a lot. Uh, there are some people that I watch because um, I find myself in the mood for watching them. For example, family vloggers. I don't like family vlogs that much. Sorry, I just saw someone outside. But I don't like watching family vlogs that much. However, there are like a few times that I find myself incredibly drawn to watching certain key people and that's not really often. However, I do subscribe to those channels, but I don't turn on the not notification bell because I don't want to be notified because whenever I do want to watch them, I will type in their channel and I will go to them. However, there are people that are like maybe 20, 25 people, mostly like YouTube people that I always turn on the no notification bell for because I really want to watch their videos. And even if I haven't seen a video from them or I haven't seen a or I haven't seen a notification, I will type in their channel name and go to their videos and watch, you know. 
So it kind of depends on how much this person posts. If they post like every single day or if they post like every other day, I will turn on the notification bell because I want to see their new videos. However, if they post like once a week, I don't see any need to turn on the notification bell for me personally because I will probably like not be as dedicated to watching them as I will to somebody who posts more often, if that makes any sense. Uh, because I find myself naturally more interested in watching people who post like very often than people who post like once a week, once a, like once every two weeks, etc. And that's why the people that post several times a week are the people that I find myself very much drawn to and I have the notification bell turned on for those channels because I really love watching their videos. Do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favorites? I don't watch every video from my subscription feed. I don't even watch every video that I get notified for because I don't have the time. Whenever I have free time, I dedicate it to YouTube. And recently especially, I have not been getting like a lot of free time whatsoever. So I just, I don't watch like every video in my subscription feed because if I was doing that, I would be watching hours of YouTube a day and that's just not possible. That's just not like a good idea. So I don't watch every video from my subscription feed. I only watch like three or four videos a day if I'm having like a busier day. And if it's like a weekend and if I don't have much to do and if I just want to watch, then I will like marathon watch like a whole bunch of people. But um, yeah, like, I don't watch a lot of YouTube. Like I haven't really been watching a lot of YouTube recently. So that's why I'm trying to like, think about this, but I definitely don't watch every single video in my in my uh, feed because I just, I simply don't have the time. How many channels do you never miss an upload for no matter how busy you are? Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot at all. Um, yeah, like, I think that, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. I think that there is not one channel that I've watched every single like upload that they've done in the past like few months. Like there are some people that I watch like 90% of their videos and I absolutely love them. But as of now, there are currently no channels that I have never missed an upload for because like I said, I just don't have time to watch all these videos. Like, I like creating content so much, but at the same time, I don't, I don't watch a lot of it. Like, I just don't. And I do love supporting people. It's just how it is. Like, I think that there may be five people that I really look up to that I watch like 90% of their videos, but that's pretty much it. The next question is, what kind of commenter are you? A very bad one <laughs> because I don't comment as often as I should. I, I don't know why. I feel like I should comment more and that's something that I'm working towards. I'm trying to comment more on people's videos. I'm trying to show my support because there's so many people that I love watching but like I just I have to basically like remind myself to comment. It's something that I really do have to get better at. I will say that because I really like I'm just not I'm not someone that comments that often but I should because it's a good idea to support people, like to actually show people your support. I think that's very important. So that's why I'm trying to like work on commenting more. Number seven, do you skip ads or watch? It depends. 50% of the time, well, no, not 50% of the time. I would say 75% of the time I skip, but then 25% of the time I actually watch because I actually find ads very fascinating because sometimes you get like a very cool trailer and then um, sometimes you get like a very interesting, like visually like interesting ad. And I, I will say that like one of the jobs that it would be interesting for me to have would be like to help produce ads, like would be to like basically um, work with marketing. I feel like that would be very interesting. That would be like quite fascinating and that would be such a cool job, which is why I love looking at ads and I love like just seeing how they're produced and I just, I love the process. So like watching ads can kind of be fascinating for me. Sometimes there's some ads that are really quite irritating because like you see them everywhere and I'm just like, stop showing me these ads. Like I just skip like, you know, that quick. But some ads like, I actually find myself quite interested in watching. So 
Yes and no. Do you speed up videos? Sometimes? Again, I'm talking about myself because I'm such an egomaniac, but when I was like just starting out with like doing YouTube a little bit more seriously, I would literally talk very slowly and I'll be watching my videos when editing and I'll be like, she's talking very slowly, like this is just boring. So I would actually like go in and speed up my videos so I could like just talk a little bit faster. And that's why like some of my videos are sped up. But when it comes to watching people, I don't really speed up videos that much. I think that 10% that of the time I speed up certain videos because sometimes people talk a little bit slower and say I have like 30 minutes or 45 minutes to watch YouTube and I want to get like as many videos in as possible or I'm waiting for class and I want to watch like um, a 10 minute video or a 15 minute video and the person's talking rather slowly, I will probably speed it up a little bit so I can get more of that video in before I have to stop watching. So it's kind of like I speed videos up when I want to like watch videos faster so I can get more information in so I can like basically watch more of that video, if that makes any sense. That's the reason I do it. This is a little bit of an awkward question. Then, um, do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? I don't really click affiliate links. I use codes links because I don't really do any kind of impulse shopping. I don't impulse buy like at all really. I only do it every now and then. And I use affiliate codes because it's saving money, like come on. Like I don't think that there is any sense in like protesting by not using affiliate codes because you're basically doing yourself a disservice because that person that um, has the code is going to get more money anyway. They don't care what one person thinks. So why not save yourself a little bit of money by using that person's code? However, there are certain people that I do not really like using codes for, so I will try to find alternatives and I'm not gonna get into that, but I think that if you, for example, um, want to shop at Morphe, but you don't like supporting all the influencers that shop at Morphe, there's actually a code that um, gives its proceeds to animal shelters. So like basically you use this code and I forget what it is, but I'll try and put it like somewhere below or something, but you use this code and the proceeds from this code go to the LA animal shelter, which is a great way to basically support um, a nonprofit, you know. There are always um, more reasons to use affiliate codes than not, but if you don't want to support like cult like this culture, then don't use them. But I, I use them because I like saving money and I'm not really petty too much. Sometimes I'm petty, most of the time I really don't care. What's your preference when it comes to video length? Your sweet spot, ooh. Over 10 minutes, definitely. If I see a video from someone that I love that's over 20 minutes, I am so happy. For me, like I think that my average, I like to keep it as um, between 10 minutes and between 20 minutes. Sometimes that number is extended, but I personally love watching longer videos because it's wonderful when you find someone that you really do like and you're watching videos from them and you get to see more of them. Like, I like that, you know? I like seeing what people have to say and I think that like just the idea of having like super short videos is not something that's very appealing to me or the idea of watching super short videos is not very appealing to me. Um, sometimes I do watch them, but most of the time my favorite videos to watch are videos that are on the longer side. Do you thumbs up most videos? Here's the thing. Um, if I really, if I really like the video and I see like the person has put so much work into it and it's a groundbreaking video, I will thumbs it up. I actually thumbs up videos, of course, from people that I really do like to watch, from people that I love to support. Um, but on the whole, if it's not someone that I really love to watch, I will thumbs up uh, videos that I really see a lot of work go into. If someone has basically come onto my radar and they have produced an amazing video that is high quality, that has a lot of information, that is really well done, of course I'll thumbs it up because I can kind of see as someone who creates videos that a lot of work has been done from behind the scenes and I want to appreciate that by showing my appreciation with a thumbs up. So that's why I thumbs up like certain videos, but I don't thumbs up every video. I don't know why, I just don't. But if, but if it's someone that I really like 
and or if it's someone that I think that has put a lot of work into the video, then of course I'll thumbs it up. Then do you ever thumbs down a video? Ooh, okay, this is a hard one because I don't think I've like really thumbs down videos, but if a person or if like I would say a brand or like a company has put out a video that has undertones that I'm completely like not in accordance with that I really just like don't like what this person is saying because I feel like it's stupid, I feel like it's unjust, I feel like it's actually harmful, I will thumbs down the video. Like, um, <laughs> you're gonna hate me for this probably, but Laura Lee's apology video, I thumbs that down. Like I thumbs that video down so quickly because that apology was ridiculous. But if somebody's doing like a famous video or a tutorial and the eyeshadows are unblended or they messed up in editing, I'm not gonna thumbs it down. I'm not gonna do it because like, I know that the work that someone puts into a video is significant and I don't want to make them feel bad by seeing this thumbs down on their video that they've worked so hard to produce because I have been there, like I'm still there, like I'm the person that work like, work so hard like on YouTube specifically that I'm trying to like basically stay up like until the like early hours of the morning to produce a video to edit a video to get it up in time and seeing thumbs down on like a video it kind of makes you feel a little bit like oh gosh like I worked so hard on this video and it doesn't really feel too good so that's why I don't want to make people feel like that and I want to like encourage people so I don't want to thumbs down like Preferably if I'm seeing someone that I really like and I feel like they put a lot of work and that they put a lot of effort into the video I will thumbs it up because I want to lift people up. I don't want to bring people down But of course there are some exceptions I feel like there are like about five to ten videos that, that I've thumbs down in my entire time like, From watching YouTube and I, I've watched YouTube for years So I haven't really watched like a lot of videos and thumbs them down because I'm just not that kind of person. Do you share other YouTubers videos on your social media? Of course, I love promoting other people. It's great. We have like this great community on YouTube, especially within like the smaller influencers. We have like this community which is so like tightly knit and so many people have like these amazing ideas and these amazing concepts. and. I love promoting that. I love showing love to other people, you know? And I love lifting people up. It's a, an amazing thing. So yeah, of course, I love spotlighting other people. I love giving other people credit. I love um, just sharing other people on my channel. And that's what I really try to do. And I feel like, yeah, I mean, of course I can like do better at it because I feel like there are always ways to really just like show love and support and just like do like more of that. But yeah, I really like I think that that's so important and I definitely try and do that It's just something that gives me so much joy to be able to like just um, Help someone else grow um, I think that's great. So that's why I really try and do it. So that is the end of this tag There are 13 questions uh, pretty long ones. I mean, I of course had to ramble a lot in this video So this is probably gonna be over 20 minutes. So if you like a video that's over 20 minutes <laughs> This is probably a good video for you. So that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please check out Katie Marie if you haven't done so already. She's a really great artist, really great creator. I love watching her videos and I would highly recommend her channel to you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tag and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.